candy corn. Um, I'm going to do some Q&A today. Just so I can get this done so I don't forget about it. So many people know I'm forgetful. I'm not even joking. But in the meantime, look, I'm a squish! I'm a squish. I'm a squish! Yeah, I'm just gonna go. Alright, uh, before I get off topic, my friends suggested that I do Q&A so you all get to know me better. So, here goes nothing. I've only got um, so many questions from this one person, it's not even funny. Aaron, I love you. Trust me. Spam away. Spam my Twitter. Go for it. Spam it. You, you done me good. I've actually been able to do something. Anyways, before I lose my mind, um, we're just gonna go straight in. Okay, so at DC Vargas asks if you were a pandacorn or a real pandacorn, what color would you be? Pfft, it's obvious. Be rainbow cosmic pandacorn. Who the fuck wouldn't? See, um, being a rainbow cosmic pandacorn is amazing. Cause that's just who I am. So, now I'm getting to the questions from my friend, my dearest, dearest little ray of sunshine. At Axel Hawk, or should I say at Axel underscore Hawk? Fuck, I'm losing my mind today. He asks, "How was Pandacorn so fabulous?" Because I'm a full-time internet homo, and I'm Dan Howell's little look-alike. If you've not seen my Twitter picture, go look at it. You can find me at Pandacorn Cheyenne or at Dawnstar Seven One Eight Four. Check me out. Follow me. Do whatever. Spam me with questions. I don't mind. Axel also asks, "Why do I love Pandacorn so much?" I don't know. Why do you? What makes me so lovable? Is it because I'm fabulous? Or because I'm a squish? Let me know in the comments, Axel. Just let me know. And if any of you have any opinions, also feel free to comment below. That would be much obliged. I don't care what you say, really, because, hey, we all crazy here. Crazy's welcome. What are your thoughts on a trans boy named Aaron Hawk? Aaron, baby, I love you. You are my literal ray of sunshine. Don't ever change, okay? Don't change. You are perfect, okay? No matter what people tell you, you are fucking perfect, okay? Remember that. Okay, what are your thoughts on Troiler and Fan? Ship! OTP! They are my literal OTP. They, they fucking need to get the fuck together. Because they are perfect. On a scale of one to holy shit, so fucking hot, how would you rate Dan Howell, Bill Lester, Tyler Oakley, and Troy Sivan? Like, come the fuck on. Holy shit, they're fucking hot. Give them the chance. I'd fucking tell them straight up to their faces. Okay? Yeah, just, just saying. Tyler Oakley, queen, slay. Okay, keep slaying. That's just what you do. You're perfect at it. Dan Howell, oh my god, there are so many things I could say. Some of them I'm not even going to say, because Aaron, you and I were talking about this the other day. Legit. Same with Troy Sivan. Bill Lester, baby, you my ray of sunshine too. Don't ever change. And just so y'all know, most of these people, Troy, Tyler, Fan, like, everything, they legit make my day. Whenever I see their new video uploads in my subscriptions box, that's what makes me happy. Okay. If you had to cosplay one half of your OTP with someone, what would your the OTP be? <laughs> Fan and trailer, duh. I would possibly, if I would cosplay Fan, 
I'd either be Dan or Phil, either one. Since if, like I said before, if you haven't seen my Twitter picture, go take a look. Because I kind of look like 2009 Dan Howell. It's weird. But a lot of people say I look like Phil. I don't see the resemblance. Do you? No. I don't. It's weird. Um, for Troy Lear, I'd possibly cosplay as Troy. Because... The fuck not? It's Troy Spawn. Not hating on Tyler. Tyler, you're my queen. Slay, okay? Just keep slaying. Um, thoughts on Markiplier and Jacksepticeye? Give those two sons of bitches awards. They need awards. Just saying. Uh, thoughts on someone new to cosplay? Start off with an easy, like, a little easy character. Because everyone's not good at this. Hell, I wasn't. And I cosplayed as someone from more of a horror opera. I was Luigi Largo, one of the main characters. I had no clue what the fuck I was doing after watching the movie seven times. So I had to stand around wandering the whole Comic-Con with a scalpel in hand because I didn't have my fake knife. And they would have done a weapons check on me anyways. They do that. Yeah. So start off with an easy character, like... Link from Legend of Zelda, or, I don't know, your favorite game character if you know them really well. Thoughts on cosplay in general? Don't overdo it. You overdo it, the character's just, it's done. It's, you've done, fucked up. You just majorly screwed stuff up. Um, my other advice about Comic-Con and cosplay, if you don't know what to really do at a Comic-Con, just go with someone who's been there multiple times and know what to do. That's what I did. I joined a cosplay group right after I finished my zombie train work. And they took me around, showed me everything. And I was hooked. So I'm excited for ModestoCon! Yay! It's in July. So, yeah. I'm going to be cosplaying as Evie Fry from Assassin's Creed Snicket. Hopefully I can get the cosplay soon. If not, then I might cosplay as one of the links from the newest Zelda game. So, yeah. Uh, what is your definition of life? Why would you ask me this? My existential crisis, it brings me pain to talk about this. You, you grow up, do whatever you do in life, achieve whatever you want, grow old and die. I mean, it's the sad part is dying. That's what really hurts me because I've lost so many members of my family and so many of my friends at young ages. And sometimes I lost people right before I was even born. And that really saddens me because I didn't get to meet some of these people that were like dear to my family. Like if it's say my grandfather. I only knew him for at least seven years, and he passed away in 2011, and I was heartbroken. And he was a rancher, and if you don't know what he was doing, he ran, he harvested almonds. And there's two ways of saying, saying almonds. It's almonds or almonds. I My family was raised up saying almonds. Don't judge. You can say it either way, okay? You can say it either way. So, I lost him. He was close to me. As close as I could ever really get to know him. So, now, I stopped eating almonds altogether. The, just the memories, it, it pains me. Um, what is your definition of love? Love is love. Whatever your sexuality, whatever your gender, love is love. Just... Be happy with who you are. Don't let anyone tell you any different. You are special to someone. And if you don't have someone, you'll find that someone. Just keep your eye out. So, what are your thoughts on Jensen Ackles, Jared Padalecki, and Misha Collins? They saved my life. Supernatural is my life. Legit. If you don't know what Supernatural is, it is the greatest show ever. If you know what Supernatural is, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because then you're in the fandom. You know. Congrats to you. Kudos to those who know. So, 
So, my thoughts. Jared, sweetie, I love you so much. You have helped me get through my depression. And I thank you for that. I support your campaign. Always keep fighting to the max. Whenever I see someone who's going through a tough time, I tell them, do what Jared Padalecki did and always keep fighting. Don't give up the fight. You can win this. And Jensen, that's such a sweetheart. He's helped Jared so much. Misha, don't get me started on Misha with his little tweet from the other day with Kanye. Dude, Misha, you are amazing. You legit made my day with that post. I swear, that was the greatest thing I've seen. So yeah, that's all the questions. Hit me up on Twitter and stuff if you have questions and whatnot. I will see you all soon, my panicorns.